Hey there, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me. This is your reading for July 2015. And uh, this month is, you know, pretty interesting. I think it lines up well with the three-month reading that I did. You know, a, a lot of recurring messages uh, for Capricorn. All the Earth signs are pretty, you know, have this... It's like seems like all the Earth signs are one of the few signs that have just constant, steady messages at least for the readings that i do it's like everything just is pretty much moving along which is nice it's at least you're moving forward and, and all these things but the message is pretty much always the same the first card you get is the jack of spades i feel like this is just an energy that is going to be surrounding you this month uh interesting thing about this card is that i i have multiple copies of this deck the deck that i've been using lately um and, you know, I, I laid out one deck and I, I spread it out. And the first card I pulled was this card was a Jack of Spades. But I'd been doing a bunch of readings and the deck felt a little sticky, to say the least. So I, I, I was a little bit like, eh, I don't feel like this message is really going to resonate because, you know, the deck wasn't allowing me. It was the cards were all sticking together and things like that. So I switched decks. First card I pull is the same card. It's a Jack of Spades. So that means this is going to be a really strong message for you this month. I think... This month, I think it has an element of seriousness, being serious, getting work done, and, and knowing what you need to do, but I also think it's going to be playful, which is a message that somebody else received. I'm not exactly, I can't remember, but same thing this month, where it was kind of like hard work, but also hard play, you know, it's like you're going to be playing a lot, having a lot of fun. You know, Jack is a lighter energy than, say, Queen or the King, um, you know, it's more playful, more youthful more going to parties and things like that than being so serious. But the thing about this card is it's about overcoming obstacles. I have said this to the pat in the past to Capricorn that you've been doing a lot of overcoming obstacles for like the past eight years. The good news about this card is it's like and I again I feel like I've already said this message to you before, is that it means that because the obstacles you've had to overcome have been so difficult, anything new that comes up is just nothing. It's just really easy, and you can easily handle it, and it doesn't even bother you. Like, it doesn't even look like an obstacle to you because you've been through, like, ten times harder. It's a very – this is a – it's this card – that represents spirituality. It, it represents karma and ha having to overcome a lot of those things um, that happen. But it's a very powerful card as well. It puts you in a very powerful position, so you really can't beat that. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Clubs, which is about achievement. It's the card of achievement. is It's literal meaning in traditional readers would read this card as achieving something having achieved something and again it's something you've earned i mean you've overcome a lot of obstacles that's what this says and and this card says now you're achieving all of those things you're you know i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised this month you know it does feel a little bit later in the month i mean i feel good things coming for you right away i don't think you're going to be waiting for anything great but i think by the end of the month the you know towards the end there you're going to start seeing all these things that you've really earned you've really worked for coming to you um, you know, it's like, it's like I said, I, I feel like you're working for them now and I feel like you see, uh, the, the fruits of your labors, but maybe, you know, you're, ch maybe if you're working for something, you know, you won't see the check till the second half of the month. So not even the end, just the second half, the last two weeks. Um, but at least you, you're seeing, um, you, you know, the money, like, it's like, you know, that the money is coming, you know, that you're earning it. That's what, that's, you know when I'm feeling really strongly for a lot of you on this card. It could also be, um, you know, just all of a sudden you don't even expect it. So you might not even know that you're going to be getting, you know, it, this is a windfall type of card. I mean, it brings with it just like a big, huge chunk of change uh, coming to you. The other thing that this means is it is achievement in all areas of your life. So it doesn't just have to do with money. It is, it does have a little bit of a business-like slant to it but it can be achievements in love it can be achievements in spirituality it can be achievements in anything so just know that you're, you're probably going to be doing a lot of achieving this month i think through the hard work that you've done and and the things that you have accomplished are going to be a direct result of that hard work this month uh next you have the four of clubs four of clubs just asks you 
to it, it you know i think you're still worrying number one let's start here is i think you're still worrying about finances and money um still even if you have money i think you're still worrying about it because uh i think i said this in your last reading with me is that it's like you know you've you've been on that hamster wheel of making money then all of a sudden you make money and then a bill shows up and and the money gets taken away or you know you have to pay for your car cuz it broke down or something like that it's like that seems to be the recurring theme for capricorn is that kind of like earning money and then having it taken away for the past like 8 years like i said you know of of challenges and even times when things were good like i said you know you you maybe you had a few times where you did all of a sudden earn more money but again it kind of disappeared rather quickly the energy is still hanging around in your mind. It's, um, you know, it's not going to happen anymore. You're actually past that, um, you know, all those challenges. I think you've learned a lot over the past eight years uh, is really what I'm going to say is eight years. And, um, you know, but you're still worrying about those things. You're still worrying about that, those losses. You're still worrying um, that it's going to happen again. So even now, as you make money, as you come into this, achievement and things like that i think you're still going to be worrying this card says don't worry about it um and also it also says that it's not going to happen so you have nothing to worry about it's a four it represents a house it represents security and comfort and protection so you are protected you are secure and all those things just know that don't you don't have to worry constantly next you have the nine of spades which again is another card of worrying about um money and things like that. The the thing about this card is it's a card of letting go, of letting go of your situation and just saying like, okay, um, it is what it is. And the second you let go, uh, f truly let go, and you, you stop reacting um, to your, you know, if you're in a negative situation or, uh, you know, stop reacting to those situations um, is a second you're going to just have a breakthrough and you're going to make a lot of money. You're, you're allowing the energy to clear. Very hard thing to do. I mean, I'll be the first to admit it. Um, you know, I watch a lot of spiritual teachers and things like that talk about stuff like this and they're like, oh, it's so easy. Just let it go. Uh, no, it's not. It's not easy to let go. You know, when you can't pay your bills and you, you know, you can't feed your kids or if you can't, you know, give your kids what you want to give them and things like that, it's extremely hard to let go. It's extremely hard to just say, oh, I just let go of, of not having money. That's not an easy thing to do. It's nearly impossible with with that level of stress. I think you've been dealing with levels of stress very similar to that for the past eight years. Those those they it is lifting, but again, this card says you really have to let go of that situation. When this person lets go of this situation, the abundance and success that follows in all areas of your life. Again, we're not talking just money here. We're talking just like even just your well being, your your state of mind. When you finally let go and you allow things to happen uh, is really great. The The things that will come in for you are really, really positive and really great. I think a lot of you have let go. I mean, I think a lot of you have already done this. I think a lot of you, if you were to look back on, say, something that would have happened to you in the past, and then, you know, because these are cycles, it's happened to you again, and you look back to how you would handle that situation now or how you you would react i think a lot of you actually wouldn't react i think you would react like this guy right here he has that stone cold kind of resolve where something happens he's like well i've dealt with this before and that is his reaction um i think capricorn has been i, I think what you're doing now and what you're stepping into is becoming less reactive we we live in an incredibly reactive world with the internet just look at all the crazy stuff that's happening in the world. Um, you, you know, people just react. They just have a reaction to everything. They just react, react, react. Uh, that's what the media and things like that, uh, you know, that's what they do. That's how they make money, you know, of course. Um, I feel like a lot of you Capricorns are actually stepping away from that and becoming less reactive and, and looking at situations like what's going on in social media even and things like that. I mean, this is a message I'm getting, and you're just saying – you know, you're maybe having that reaction, but you're catching yourself and you're, and you're not. You're saying, you know, I realize that this is just the time and place we live right now. And I, I, I realize that, you know, I just need to let go and I just need to not be reactive. I think Capricorn, I think that's the lesson in general for Capricorn is to not 
react to any situation in their life, including you know social situations, social media situations, financial situations, and I think uh, you'll become more like the Jack of Spades and more successful. Like I said, pretty interesting message overall. I think you're going to have a great month. Um, you know, I think the Nine of Spades looks scary. Like I say, the Jack of Spades looks scary as well. But, you know, I think the message, the overall message for you is very positive. 